was so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city without one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. You're right, you sexy fuckers. You missed me. It is your boy one sneaky beaver here. Um, today I'm bringing you some Destiny beta on Xbox One. Um, I know you PS4 guys, you've been very lucky you've had it for a, a while, but recently shot down this here. is my first impression. This is absolutely amazing. I've got a few things I need to talk to you about as well. But very quickly, I just want to give one little shout out to I am sneaky for giving me a, a beta code for Destiny. Thank you very much, man. I have pre-ordered Destiny myself. But for whatever reason, I've not yet been sent a code, so thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, mate, this game wouldn't be here um, on my channel. So thank you very much. You can follow him at I Am Sneaky. Right, on with the show. So it's been almost a month now since my last video, and that I believe was a nine second clip of UFC uh, on the demo. Just uh, reason I thought that basically summed it up as to why I am not going to buy UFC. Um, and to be honest, I, I did borrow the game off um, off my dad, and uh, yeah, I think it was quite justified to be honest as to why I didn't buy it. Um, 40 matches in a career, each one lasting less than a minute probably because I was uh, I was just kicking the shit out of everybody. To be fair, um, the matches lasted, as I say, little more than a minute, and the loading screens in between matches lasted what I felt like five so it, it was a little top heavy for me on that respect but hey ho the gameplay was good I mean the graphics look amazing you know if it's your cup of tea fair enough but anyway enough about that on with Destiny now as I say I have not played this uh, I've not played this before I've kind of avoided it on YouTube as well because I didn't want uh, I didn't want a jaded opinion or anything like that I didn't want to spoil it but first thing I have to say is this looks amazing I mean the gunplay um, it's it feels really slick as well, it's just it's really smooth. I mean I'm using a marksman rifle here which is like a single shot and I'm really impressed to be honest. Later on you'll see me use a, a like an AK47 type thing as well, um, semi-automatic rifle. But yeah, I'm loving this. It's it's really good. I mean with uh, what little I've played I mean as you can see I am only a level two. You know, I've I've not I've, I've not really spoke much time on this, but first impressions, holy shit, this game looks amazing. So I expect more to see, uh, expect to see a little bit more of that on my channel. Um, I just want to give a shout out as well to the Bipolar Bear, um, Bipolar Bear KO, as you guys might know him, who's just hit the milestone. He's just hit 100 subscribers, so well done to you, man. I mean, you've worked really hard for that, and uh, it's good to see that you're actually progressing. So. Well done, man! And that hundred subscriber um, special—that was fucking hilarious. I was by myself, so real good work on that, man. I hope to see a lot more of you in the future. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, I'll whack a link in the description. Please check this guy out because he, he is so funny. He's, you know, his commentary is very entertaining. He does good gameplay as well, and uh, to be honest, his blowjobs aren't bad either. So give him a shout, you know. So Tony Beaver, right. What's going on in Beaver Town? I hear you say because it has been such a long time since I posted. Well, um, I was looking at moving house. Um, I was looking at moving house uh, for a few reasons. Uh, we'll get onto those in a moment. But basically, I had everything packed up. I, you know, my captain card, the lot, it was all packed up in the box, ready to go. And um, basically, there's uh, nothing on the market at the moment for us to move. So. Yeah, we're still looking, but I don't know how long it's going to be, so I've, I've dug out the capture card, I'm back, I've not moved house yet, but we're still looking, so fingers crossed there's going to be something too. And uh, if you guys saw on Twitter last night, if you, you follow me on Sneaky Beaver, you may have seen, uh, I did uh, I did reveal some, some amazing news as well. Um, Mrs. Beaver, she's with child, I believe they say. We've got a kit on the way, as uh, beavers don't have babies, they have kits, so I've been told. We've got a kid. We got a baby. You know, um, she's. Uh, we believe she's about 12 and a half weeks now. So, very fucking excited about that. I can't tell you how how happy I am. Um, she's everything to me. She's the love of my life. And 
just to have that experience. I mean, we were at the scan yesterday, and oh, oh my god, you know, it's where I cry as a grown man. But fucking hell, that was uh, that was emotional. Like you see the pictures and that, and you think, yeah, yeah, it's a baby. What you're about? It's just like it, it doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. Actually, seeing the baby in there moving around, and I mean, you fellow dads uh, who have already experienced that, you know. Hopefully you can empathise with me, but seeing you know him all moving around in there and that, and yeah, it was it was beyond belief. It was uh, I was I was really happy with that. But um, it was an open little bastard. He, he was, mommy's made him a little too comfy in there. He's uh, very reluctant to move, and he was in very open position. He was wiggling around and stretching out and such, but uh, yeah, we couldn't get him in the right position. So great news is I get to go back and hopefully in the next two weeks and have another scan um, just to try and get some measurements. I mean, from our dates that we've worked out, we're expecting the due date to be um, January 30th. Um, the measurements that she took, to be honest, uh, during the ultrasound, kind of, they varied, to be honest. It was between 12 and a half weeks to 14 weeks, so uh, a little bit of concern there. It all depends, obviously, on it. Um, how she's measuring him and because as I say he's been really old we're going to have to go back and get some more measurements but that means more scan pictures and I get to see a uh, little boy or girl again we don't know which yet we are only 12 weeks so we will find out in about 8 weeks time but uh, yeah so life is very good for me at the moment um, I'm sorry I've been a bit elusive with you guys I know I said uh, you know I've got a project coming that was the project we had a we had a baby on the way I did actually find out quite a while ago in fact, um, Mrs. Beaver, she told me, just after the Champions League final. So, uh, yeah, won a bit of money on that, and uh, then she told me I had a baby as well. So, life was good. And uh, you may have seen that, to be honest, in the in the PVC gameplay I did a while back in uh, Garden Ops. I, I, I just said life's really good and that. Well, now you know why. You know, I was uh, I was over the moon, and I did tell a few, a few people... Um, but obviously we wanted to keep it fairly quiet because, you know, risks implemented and such like that. But I mean, now we've seen him, we know that, you know, we know they're okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm telling the world now. So, yep, my sperm works. That's good to know. Congratulate me on that, if you will. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I haven't spoken. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I haven't spoken a great deal about Destiny, but trust me, there will be Scanning a lot more to come. Uh, I just had to get that off my chest, Bad really. News. It's already in fallen um, hands. And, uh, this, uh, the guy that's with me, son of Connor or whatever his name is, I don't know where he's come from, I think he's just a random, that's just doing the same mission as I at the same time, because of course you can work together and things, but what's crucial is when we hit the boss level, a uh, boss a little bit later on. Don't know if he constitutes a boss, but he's quite big for uh, the level you are. He takes a few hits, you know, he's quite powerful. He's just about to come out of this hole in the wall now. Um, notice my random NPC guy disappears, which is uh, very, very helpful. So I have to take this guy out on my own, man. He's a uh, boss. Right. So, I'd say graphics, incredible. Gameplay, it feels really smooth. Even for a beta, it feels really smooth. The frame rate, I've not experienced any frame rate issues as yet. I mean, I don't know if it'll drop. Obviously, when things get a bit more. Hardy. It's in the walls! Holy shit, look at this guy. He's... I dare say, you know, later on we'll be experiencing these by like dozens of spot. I'm on my own at the moment. I'm a level 2. All I've got is a frag grenade and a tiny little bit of armor. Oh, so, from what I've heard as well, with particular missions, you've got to be very careful as to. Um, Make sure that you don't die because apparently you die after you start right, right from the beginning. Could not be asked with that, so I was just playing it safe, popping in and out of cover. Taking a lot of damage as well, I might add, because I've not really got the hang of this game as yet. But. So, yeah, as I say, hopefully, because I'm not moving, I will have uh, a bit more content for you. I'm certainly going to be recording a lot of Destiny over the next four days. Simply because, well, it's, it's the beta, we've got a limited time with it, so I'm going to be playing this a lot. Might as well have my capture card hooked up. I might do a couple of live comms, maybe a live stream on Twitch. I don't know, what do you guys want to see? Um, tweet me, let me know, whack it in the comments, whatever. Uh, you 
you know, I'll, I'll pick you up and uh, your feedback would be hugely appreciated. Um, so yeah, just just let me know if you want if you want me to live stream or whatever. For sure, I'll give it a go. Um, uh, there's going to be a couple of YouTubers as well. Uh, a couple of friends of mine on Twitter and that also playing. So maybe we'll get together, you know, have a little jam on this, and uh, it'll be a good laugh. So yeah. Keep an eye out for that and uh, hopefully we'll see something in the coming days. I've actually got today off work which is lovely. Uh, it's been a long time coming. So enjoying that. Probably going to play a lot of Destiny. Um, this guy here just soaks the bollocks. So this is the... Um, I, I can't remember the name of this but it's, it's, uh, it's hot right now. There we go, he's down. It, it does deal a fair bit of damage, but also it's, obviously it's, it's not very this strong. Could the uh, and we got a warp drive. Oh, no, no I have to get you to the speaker. Nice. Right. Okay. So there you have it, guys. That is Destiny. Uh, just a quick channel update there. I will be posting some more videos. As I say, I'm not going to commit to a schedule or right like that. I will just upload them. So subscribe so you don't miss them. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I hope you pleased to see me back and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks very much. Take care.